today's book is Astrophysics for Young People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I'm giving it five stars. This has got to be one of the most approachable science books that I have ever read. We should just take Neil deGrasse Tyson and let him record every high school science lecture because he has this way of taking this deep, unbelievable knowledge and making it enjoyable, approachable, and actually funny. I mean, I laughed out loud during this book, and I don't think there are a lot of lulls in science. If you're just curious about astrophysics, you're a sci-fi fan and wanna know a little bit more, or you're in love with a sci-fi fan who's watching Star Trek all the time and you kinda of wanna be up on it a little bit, this is your book. But before we get into that, I just wanna remind you, February is Black History Month, and it is an opportunity for you to diversify your brain diet with different ideas. Now, I know it's always hard to figure out who's the right author, who's the great book, so this month, I'm gonna be previewing primarily black authors, and Neil deGrasse Tyson represents. Let's get into his book now, three things. Now, the first thing is this idea that humility and knowledge is powerful. And it's amazing because this guy's so smart and he's talking about astrophysics. But at the same time, he says, look, as a scientist, there's some things we know and there's some things we don't know. And the beauty of that lack of knowledge concept is really key to being a good scientist. He talks about Einstein. And there's this book called 100 Authors Against Einstein. And Einstein laughingly is just like, dude, if I was wrong, it would only have taken one of of you to tell me that. That's the tone of this book, that joyful lightheartedness of we're trying to figure it out and we may not know everything. You know, such a different presentation of science, so much more approachable. The second reason to read this is to fill in your sci-fi knowledge gap. And that's amazing if you're a writer or if you're like me, a long-term Trekkie. I mean, I went to the Intrepid exhibit, Deep Space, Next Gen, Original, Discover. I watched them all at this point. I'm telling you, this book is the book to help you explain exactly what is this dark matter and what are these photons and what is the difference between dark matter and dark energy and how do we think about the multiverse? I mean, it's all in here and it's so approachable. The guy is so good. Now, the last thing I'm gonna point out is the advocacy in this book. Now, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's a black man in a field that is probably not that many looking from your left to your right. But he still takes the time to advocate for some women that have gone missing within the Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> Committee consideration. He gives a shout out to Jocelyn Bell and Vera Rubin who have both been passed up by the Nobel Committee despite having some serious, serious findings and things that have advanced science. I think if you're a woman in this field, you need to hear that there are other women in this field that are doing amazing things and contributing in a major way. Need reading stats. This book is 192 pages according to Goodreads. It took me about 36 minutes to read. There's beautiful pictures of space in it. Also, this book is written at a high school level so that you can actually consume it easily. It's a great piece if you care about science but have felt it's unapproachable in the past. Now, I want to shout out gratitude to New York Public Library. Continue to make these books available on e-reader because it's cold and I don't want to go outside. Also want to take time to thank everyone that's liking, sharing, watching, commenting, giving me books to read. I just love it. It totally is awesome. You rock. And I will see you tomorrow.